Hello, we're going to look at the cost minimizing input bundle for a production process with three inputs. Here's our production function. It is a function of three inputs. K represents units of capital and it has a price of a dollar per unit, the rental rate. L is units of labor with a wage equal to one dollar. And M represents units of raw material and here it has a cost of one dollar as well. Our goal is to find the cost minimizing input bundle for 27 units of output. Step one, calculate the marginal product of each input. We'll start with the marginal product of capital, taking the partial derivative of the production function with respect to capital. So find the, cal the K term here, bringing down the 1 third in front. 1 third times 3 is just 1, so that's why we don't have a 3 here anymore and then k raised to the one-third minus one, following the rules of derivatives here, we get k raised to the minus two-thirds power. The other variables are unchanged. The marginal product of labor, once again, uh, finding the L term, bringing down the one-third in front, and then we're going to take L to the one-third and subtract one from that, leaving us L raised to the minus two-thirds power, so we get this result and likewise the marginal product of raw materials we get a sort of a similar looking marginal product um, equation except now we got m raised to the minus two-thirds power uh, step two we're going to divide each marginal product by its input price so e we'll call this equation one taking the marginal product of capital and dividing it by the rental rate of capital r and remember from our last slide, r equals 1. So we just get back the marginal product of capital here. The marginal product of labor divided by the wage, since the wage is 1, we're just getting back the marginal product of labor. And finally, for the marginal product of raw materials, taking the marginal product of raw materials, dividing it by its input price, which is just 1, we get the, basically get back the marginal product of materials. Step three, we're going to set equation one equal to equation two, and then we're going to set equation one equal to equation three. So starting with setting equation one equal to equation two up here, this is going to simplify very nicely to k equals l. So how did I do that? Uh, first thing to note is this m raised to the one-third power is on both sides, so the m to the one-third terms are going to cancel. Then uh, I will divide everything through by k raised to the minus two-thirds power. So over here on the right-hand side, we're going to have k to the one-third power divided by k to the minus two-thirds power. Following the rules of exponents, k raised to the one-third power divided by k raised to the minus two-thirds power just equals k. And then finally, doing a similar thing with the L term, dividing both sides through by L to the minus two-thirds power. We'll, over, we'll have over here L to the one-third power divided by L to the minus two-thirds power. That will just simplify very nicely to L. So in the end, we just get K equals L. The next step here is setting equation one equal to equation three. So taking equation 1 up here, setting it equal to equation 3. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that the L to the 1 third powers will cancel since they appear both on the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation. And just following here some algebra and rules of exponents, uh, let's go ahead and divide both sides through by k to the minus 2 thirds. Doing that, the k to the minus two-thirds will cancel over here. You'll get k raised to the one-third divided by k raised to the minus two-thirds. That's just k. Doing a similar thing with the um, m variable, dividing both sides by m raised to the minus two-thirds power will just leave us with m, so we get this nice result, k equals m. And just note here, uh, this also implies L equals M, because K equals L and K equals M, L will equal M. And our final step, step four, we're going to substitute step three results into the production function. 
Here's our production function once again. We want Q equal to 27. So that was our goal, finding the cost minimizing input choice for 27 units of output. So setting Q equal to 27. And since uh, K equals L, I have this L term. I'm just going to set it equal to K. And since K equals M, I have this M term. I'm just going to set it equal to K. Dividing everything through by 3. 27 divided by 3 is 9. And then k to the one-third multiplied by k to the one-third multiplied by k to the one-third is just k. So we get k equals 9. And since k equals m uh, and k equals l, we can write l equals 9 and m equals 9. So that is the problem. I hope you found this video helpful.